Hey Audacious Church, welcome back to day five of Finding Freedom Within Our Pathway uh, devotional series. My name is Rafaro, as always, been part of the team here in Manchester. And I hope you've enjoyed this journey that we've been on of not just realizing that we've been set free, but actually journeying and taking the steps of living in freedom. If we go all the way back to where we began in Hebrews 12, where we talked about how we're part of this legacy, this lineage of people who've gone before us, who are not, not competing against us in this race, but competing with us, championing us to go, keep running, you can do it. The, you know, the Moses, the Abrahams, the whoever's, but also the people around us here today, you uh, and I are helping one another, your brothers, your sisters in Christ, your church family are here beckoning you to keep going, but also standing with you. And just know that tripping up is a part of the race, but that's why, you know, the Bible says that a brother is made for adversity. You are in relationship, you're in community with your church family so that, you know, as we go on this journey of finding and living in freedom, you don't have to do it by yourself. In fact, you can't do it by yourself. I, I think God intentionally created us with relational limits that we need people. So as we, you know, really understand that we're surrounded by this great cloud of witnesses, it's not just witnesses of yesterday, but it's the people, the saints of God who are alive with you and I today. And so I hope that your takeaways from this whole week are that you are free and can live in freedom, that you have access to that freedom and that you are loved and can be loved. And also that you have been forgiven and were created with the capacity to forgive through the help of the Holy Spirit. Each and every day you wake up knowing that you are free and free indeed. Would you also know that you are a masterpiece, that God created you intentionally and on purpose. There's never been another person like you and there never will be another person like you. God in his infinite wisdom looked at the planet and was like, something is missing and it was you. Ephesians 2 verse 10 says that, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do all the good things he planned for us long ago. This was always God's plan. This was always his intention that you would have this revelation and live in this revelation that you are set free, that you are called for a plan and a purpose right now for such a time as this. I hope you've really enjoyed this week. Look, come back and join us next week as we continue in our Pathway series. But until then, have a fantastic weekend. God bless you and we love you. See you soon.